Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Friday the 25th of October. Our opening music this evening is the Teze chant, Veni Sancte Spiritus. Let us pray. Lord, as evening comes, we pray for your church, that in your mercy you would hear our prayer and bring us more deeply into your love. Amen. Our reading and reflection this evening have the theme, War of the Worlds, and we listen to words from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the spirit, and what the spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not subject to the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. By contrast, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Thanks be to God. We're now going to listen to this evening's reflection. For much of this letter, Paul has argued that the gospel invites a response of faith. We are justified by this response, but only because God has graciously made the invitation. There is no other route available, and to try to construct one is doomed to failure. Even the law, good as it is, cannot achieve this, nor was it ever designed to do so. But Paul's focus now is on another kind of battle. Perhaps Paul senses he could be open to the charge that Without a tight framework for living, Christians might end up pleasing their own appetites. Against such a disordered life, Paul asserts the primacy of a life regulated by God's Holy Spirit. And the contrast is sharp and clear. A life lived on its own terms without Christ will be self-absorbed. The flesh will always veer towards what pleases rather than what is needful. However, a life motivated by and sustained through God's Holy Spirit is altogether different. It is marked by those same traits we find in Jesus. In other words, the Holy Spirit of God makes the Christ of God living and real in our experience. This is not to set scripture against the work of the Spirit. Rather, it is to show that only by God's Spirit can these things truly live and grow in us. What we read and learn therefore in the Bible is animated by God who seeks to fashion the image of Jesus into each of us. Living God, your Holy Spirit leads us into the life of your Son, Jesus Christ. Make us open to your guiding. Strengthen us to respond well and to follow with courage and devotion. For his sake. Amen. Let us now pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. From our rising to our lying down, you are with us every moment of the day, our reassurance when storms assail, our strength when courage fails. From our rising to our lying down, 
your light brightens every step along the way. Our comfort when darkness falls, the peace that calms our soul. From our rising to our lying down, you are with us always. Amen. Amen. O Lord, our refuge, our hope and our peace, be with us this night as our protector and our salvation. Calm our anxieties, ease our fears, and banish our anger, that we may find in you our true rest and our perfect restoration. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.